Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, for Valentine's Day, I'm going to be showing you how to make this simple beaded heart balloon bouquet with three heart balloons. And I have a little bow on it, like a little yarn bow. Um, the one I'm making today, I'm not going to put that on just for the simplicity of it, but you can do that if you want to. So what you'll need for one balloon, you'll need uh, one foot or 12 inches or around 30 centimeters of 28 gauge wire. You will also need a ruler to measure wire. You'll need scissors to cut your wire. And for beads, you'll need 25 beads for each balloon. Um, I'm using size eight beads like I always do. And you also need bead containers, just somewhere to put your beads where you can easily get them. And I think that is it. So let's get started. So I'm going to make three balloons. I'm going to make a white one, a pink one, and a red one. So I'm using 75 beads in total with three feet of 28 gauge wire. All right, so let's get started. So first you're gonna, like all the project, like all my projects, you're going to uh, find the middle of the wire. So meet the two ends and then strip it down like that. So you find the middle. And then you're gonna take seven beads of whatever color you want. You can really just make one balloon, but I'm gonna make three and then put them in a little bouquet. So I'm gonna make the red one first, so. So seven beads on your wire. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. There we go. And now we're gonna bring those down and hold them in place with your finger and sort of turn around hold the beads in place and then take one of your wires and loop it around and stick it through all the beads and make sure your beads are kind of kept in the general center area of your wire and then you can keep them in the center with your finger and then just pull tight and if yeah mine are not even so you can adjust them by pulling on this loop and then pulling on the wire that needs to be longer. There we go. And now straighten them out like this. And then just make sure the wire is kind of flattened down. And then if you did the cat tutorial that I posted last month, uh, we're gonna do something a little bit similar here where we, um, put beads on the wire and then like loop it around. Um, so I'm, well, let's do that. Uh, so put two beads on one side of your wire. So one and two, bring them down and count three beads into your wire. So one, two, three. So this is gonna be the space where we stick our wire in. So we're gonna loop it around let me straighten it out and then stick our wire through that little gap right there. So count three beads in, stick it through there. And you can make kind of like a little gap like I did. So stick it around and this is what it should look like. It should just loop around through the same row it came out of the wire and then you're gonna pull tight and there you go and that should that's what it should look like and now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side so on this wire the other wire put two beads on your wire bring it down and then and count three beads in one two three and then I can make a little gap with my nail there. And loop your wire around and stick it through 
both of the bead or all of the beads. It should look like that. You grab the end and pull it around. So it's basically exactly like the cat, except it's two beads instead of one. And now for our next row, we're going to do six beads on our wire. And we're just going to continue as normal. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now bring it down and fold it down. And now we're going to take the wire that does not have your beads on it and loop it around and stick it through all of the beads. Like that. And then we're going to pull tight. You can kind of shape it the way you want it. Now we're ready to do the next row, which is going to be five beads. So, one, two, three, four, and five. And then bring it down and fold down and then loop your wire around that does not have beads on it and stick it through those beads. And it should look like this. And now you just have to do, and I just have to put on three more beads. So one, two, and three. And that should be all of your beads for one color at least. And fold it down. And whatever bead does, or whatever wire does not have beads on it, loop it around and stick it through. And then pull tight. I'm kind of adjusting my heart as I go. And there you go, it should look like that. And now you're gonna pinch your bottom layer and then just twist your wires and kind of make sure the twist is centered with the heart like that and then once you have the first couple of twists it's easier to continue twisting and we're making the, like, the string of the balloon right now so we're just gonna continue twisting until we're out of wire and then you can just trim it later And I think that's about good. Actually, you don't have to do it all the way to the end of your wire if it's long enough already. So there's my first little heart balloon and you can stop there, but I'm going to make two more, like I said before. And since it's the exact same process, I'm just going to um, cut ahead in the video. And um, yeah, and if you want to have any trouble making the other two balloons, you can just uh, go back in the video and watch me making this one again. So I'll see you when I have two more balloons. All right, I am uh, done with the other two balloons and here's what they look like. Um, a pink one, a white one, and a red one. And now we are going to uh, twist them together. So I'm gonna have the red one in the middle and then when you're doing this, make sure you can see it really clearly with the white one, but that one wire uh, from the initial loop that we did, you can just uh, like put that toward the back so the good side shows. So red in the middle and then white, I'm just gonna put like a little bit lower like this, maybe overlapping it a little bit. And then The pink one is going to go just like that. And then I'm going to just kind of hold it with my fingers and then twist them together. 
And like I said before, you could put um, ribbon or yarn like I did right here if you want to. And now I'm just gonna like kind of adjust them because they kind of got um, a little bit messed up. And there we go, I think that's it. And of course you can arrange your balloons any way you want. Um, like these ones I did a little bit differently. Yeah. So, I think that's it. And yeah, so I hope you like your little balloon bouquet for Valentine's Day. These can be little gifts for Valentine's Day if you want to. Um, I thought they were pretty cute. So yeah, I hope you like this video and I hope this tutorial was easy to follow. If so, then please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more beading videos. I post beading videos every eighth of the month and occasionally uh, a random like non-tutorial beading video in between those. And I would love to get uh, enough subscribers to where I can do live streams so that could be like I could do a beading something live and uh, I can answer questions and stuff. So yeah. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye!